Welcome to another episode of AWS. What's his name of the third show again? Bullshit. AWS Bullshit. I'm your host, Philip the Flying, the Flying Chilla. And I'm your other host, Super Zack Thunder, and this is not a AWS Bullshit, it's a AWS Free Run. I was being sarcastic. Well, you know what, joke's on you, because you already used that joke in a different episode, so how do you like those apples? I just said apples. What is wrong with me? Oh yeah, I did use that joke. Is that what doing this show does to me? It just makes me lose my memory? Yeah, it's kind of like purgatory in a way. The show really is like I'm just in a, in a eternal limbo, you know? Speaking of eternal limbo, here are some very, very thick boys to help continue this very gay tournament. That has nothing to do with eternal limbo, but thanks for that. Hey, you're welcome. We got the Masters of the Big Boy Centon. Patrick the Star, who was in the Tom McGillis Memorial Battle Royal, and Augustus the Gloop, the big German boy who won a different Battle Royal, but he lost his spot in the chamber due to being mauled by Homer Simpson. And then we also got Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. He is, he likes pussy. And we got Big the Cat. Who is one. And I did not mean vaginas. I, I, I think they're smart enough to get the pun of pussy, you know, like a pussy cat or a pussy vagina. Yeah, but pussy owns a lot. I think they're, I think they're smart enough to get that, Philip. Thank you. Plus, back in his trailer park in Canada, he happens to own a lot of uh, pet cats too. So, vaginas. Oh, and we're here in Orlando, Florida. That's right, home of Florida. Florida man. As we see, uh, Gumby and Pit, not Piccolo, uh, Pokey in the background. Well, the masses of the centon just kind of walk their way to the ring. Why is there a video of uh, Gumby and Pokey while Patrick and Augustus are making the entrance? Because for some reason they always appear when Gloop appears. It's like a weird early warning sign. You know what I mean? Like, it's like a bad omen like that tells us Augustus Gloop is near. Yeah. And he's coming for us. Yeah, like when you hear that weird like elephant thing before uh, Prowler enters the room. It's more like an owl sound. Oh, oh yeah. Scary was, owl sound. I got Panther's noise and Zant's because noise. If you, because mixed if you look up. at Prowler's face, he's got like kind of the mask of like an owl. His eyes are kind of like owl. Uh, uh, well, apparently, it's actually a distorted elephant from what I've read up. Uh, yeah, I accidentally got his cry mixed up with uh, Zant's cry from Zelda. Because he also has like a weird. If there's, one thing we, we, if there's one thing we can agree on, it's that is this. It's this. The creators of Spider Verse agree with us that Kingpin in that movie was a giant black hole. Like that a is, literal black hole. That is very true, yeah. And, okay, this is the kind of dancing that will get you laid. Is that why I, is that why I haven't lost my virginity yet? I haven't done this? Yeah, exactly. Get those tiny little cucumber sticks in motion and you will get laid. Guaranteed. I mean, I can't get laid now. I don't have any genitalia. I'm a, cu I'm a cucumber. Who said you had to use your genitals when you can use yourself? Wouldn't that suffocate me, though? You gotta be creative, okay? It depends on how far you're hey, stuck hey, in. Hey, you know what? Look at Big Cat's ass. He, he is... I think he almost ate his partner as they pet each other. Um, These are a very strange duo of men right here. I mean, they call themselves Big Bubbles, so, I mean... That's about as normal as it gets here at AWS. And thus, we begin the match. Oh, and by the way, shit, what the, the big gloop with the roundhouse kick? That's not a move I expected Augustus Gloop to be able to do, but there we go. He and Patrick are very agile for their size. The rookies known as Bubbles and Big are going to have to pull something out of their gigantic asses to find their key here. Problem is, Augustus and Patrick have also have big asses. In fact, their asses might even be bigger. So they may oh, have more up their sleeves, or in this case asses. I'm about to say, Patrick doesn't wear a shirt, that so is, how can he have anything up his sleeves? That, that, might be, that might be the weirdest thing I ever said. And that is saying a lot, because you, are, saying, the you, show are, the weirdo, yeah, you are the weirdo commentator of this show, let me tell you. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm the weird one here. Yeah. I'm, I'm the psycho, psychopath. Exactly. Oh, and uh, speaking of, this is a completely unrelated note, but uh, I've been searching through my uh, Johnny Test conspiracy forum, and I have a brand new conspiracy for you. Oh boy, I, I can't wait to hear this. That will get you What's... so hard 
What's, that like what, you will believe me no matter what. What All is right. your giantess conspiracy forum theory? Susan today? and whatever the other test girl's name is are actually the same person and they're Nazis. But they're in the same room together. Optical like illusion. What is the optical illusion there? Like what it, what is the trick they're doing there to make them appear to be two Let's different see. people? So you know how when like Susan is there, right? And then you have the other one? The other one is actually a robot. That's not an optical illusion. That's just... Oh, yeah? What is an optical illusion? It's a trick of the eyes. It's something that is not there, but it appears to be there because your eyes are playing a trick on you. Hence the term optical illusion. Well, she's tricking people into thinking that's her twin it's, it, to there actually There boy actually boy is a boy. twin there. There's a robot twin actually there. So technically, technically speaking, there is actually two of her there it's just one of them's a robot okay well grammatically grammatical error aside my theory is still right and she does this to distract the king of uh, thick boys your, your bling 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 theory? Where, what made you think up this theory all right look at season 37 episode 429 there are not of jonathan seasons. testicles there are not 37 seasons uh there is they just got banned from tv okay where are they why were they banned they're on the dark web okay you, you oh, don't oh, get okay. the show got very graphic in, in that know. episode... It took quite, took quite a turn after season... Whatever the latest season was. And during that episode, if you slow down and watch frame by frame, you will see a slight air anima- animation error with the one that is not Susan. What's the animation error? She, her arm briefly is backwards. That's all the proof you need. That's right. That's it. That's it. So, uh, automatically proves so she is not, a robot created by Susan to make everybody think right. that she has that's a right. sister. That's right. Not Susan Testicles is a robot. Created by Norman Osborn. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. That, that's just insane. Just, just You're just going insane. Son. <laughs> Would he do that? But she, but she was created by Susan in order to distract Bling Bling Boy. I'm just pointing but, it out my ass, Philip, just like you are at, this, at, the, at the moment. Yes, but you see. Oh, you just said yes! No, I said, but you see. You said yes, but you see. That was to make you feel better because you were a You know what, just, 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 just watch Big Big the Cat destroy Pat's Here. face. But the last thing I will say, and this was pointed out by the YouTuber Synthcool, is that uh, Bling Bling Boy is such a chad that he can actually easily tell them apart because he doesn't go for silver, he goes for gold. Thus, why he is a boy in gold. Well, that's because he wore like gold blings, hence his name. That, bling, and he always boy. goes for the gold, especially when it comes to the hoes. So, have Bubbles and Augustus done anything? Um. Oh, wait, they opened the match, but now it's just Pat and. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait. Team move. Oh, he oh, drove. <coughs> Use bubbles like it's a battering ram. Shade of the gorillas, who we have not seen in AWS in a while. They might make a comeback, you never know. Oh yeah, we do have a brand new division coming next season. Okay, what is what is up with bubbles and big big the cat and just destroying Pat's face or his head in some way? Maybe they just Just really don't like his head. Maybe this was Patrick like before SpongeBob. Do they have a thing against cone heads? What assholes? Nice That's move true. by Pat there as he oh, completely misses Oh, speaking of Coneheads, Dan Aykroyd, he is our GM now. How do you feel about this? I don't know. Eddie Edwards did a lot in that match. It was like watching The Passion of the Christ, but with a wrestler who is good at wrestling. And that is his character. I saw it more as like just a better version of Mr. Krabs fighting the boys in green, just never giving up. Well, maybe Eddie Edwards and Mr. Krabs trained together. It reminded together. me a lot of our Lord and Savior, Ben. Well, you know when what? When he was fighting those coyotes, but he just would not back down. As beautiful as a scene as that is, I just want to point out that what if Eddie Edwards and Mr. Krabs were trained together? That'd be quite the team up, I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. But he'd, be, he'd be betraying his... His other team, the, Ed, the Eds. Ed, Ed, Eddie, and Eddie Edwards. No, no, no. He didn't team with Mr. Krabs. He just trained with him. There's a difference. But were they were they friends when they trained, or were they rivals? Like Dan Danielson and the guy from Cobra Kai? I don't know. All I do know is that Bubbles jumped off the corner just to punch Augustus Gloop in the ass. And now and they're that, both dead. Yep. This has earned my respect. 
Oh, they're getting counted out. Holy shit. Will they be counted out? As nope. Bubbles curb stomps like a, the no, fat no. German boy? He doesn't care that he's about to get counted out. Come on. Get back in the ring, guys. Let's see. Oh, Do you uh, want to win fairly? I no, guess not. As fairly, no. Their anger is take their their feud is so white hot that they were that they don't even care about the rules anymore. They just want to tear each other's heads off because for some reason Augustus Gloop and Bubbles really hate each other. But they're back in the ring anyway. They so. really want to be gay, even though they, neither of them realize that the winner of this tournament is officially AWS's first gay couple. Unless Super Zack Thunder decides to be an asshole and introduce a gay couple out of nowhere. But he wouldn't do that to me. Ren and he is Stiffy. Our that is too obvious, and I will I'm fight sorry. you. Sorry, it was the first thing that came up in my head. You know the show's not scripted. Well, you know what? We will fight. I will fight you. Now watch, we will as, have now, a watch match. now watch as we get that one comment that says, "I wish this show didn't feel so scripted, like Game Grumps." I I feel like that is coming someday. It's we will gonna get come that. if we get popular enough to get a bunch of comments. We're gonna get that one comment at least yeah. every video. I, I, my body is ready for it, okay? I, my body is just ready oh, for it. Oh, you want it to come? You want it to happen? To, to rip the band-aid off. As Gloop shoves Big the Cat right into Gloop's titty. And this just in. I found out the reason why the gorillas have been off hiatus is because uh, Russell, after getting his head shoved into King Kong's dick, has been traumatized. And they're trying to comfort him. Doesn't he already have, like, a... The ghost of a dead rapper in his head. Yeah, but he hasn't appeared since the Clint Eastwood music video. Wasn't he? At, wasn't he? In, or in the Rock the at House? Least one, yeah, Rock the House. Yeah. Okay. Right. Since Rock the House, my bad. Actually, when did those? Was that after Clint Eastwood? Um, I know they're both on the same album, the self-titled one. But so, uh, you could say same time and. Yeah. I need to look up what order those songs went on in the album then. Yeah. Then we'll know. Exactly. Also, I just realized that neither the big masters of the big boy senton have used a big boy senton, and that's what costed them the match. So, well, there you have it. A cat and a man named Bubbles have won the match. They are officially gayer than the other human-cat duo. Somehow. But, but who, who is the true gay duo between those two? I guess we'll be closer to finding out next week. When we see the fairy fuckers take on Buzz Lightyear and the Yeti, and this match isn't over yet, so we still have more stuff to say. But before that, before that, whatever I'm gonna do with Unlimited, look forward to that. That's right. We might have already figured out by the time we had this recorded, and we're gonna look back and thinking, "Wow, we are idiots." We should, probably should have decided beforehand, make this a lot better teaser. But we're not the best organized uh, organization, if you uh, catch my. And me never will be. Anyway, I have been your daddy, Philip the Flying Chillip. And I am Super Zack Thunder. Whether you like it or not, that is the match. I liked it. I didn't. Well, you know what? You're just a goddamn son of a... It was supposed to cut out here. Uh, uh, you, you suck.